I didn't necessarily put this on the rundown, but I think it fits in with what we're talking about now. We've heard James Franklin, we've heard players kind of talk bigger picture more often lately than we normally have of like, it's one to know and we're still working towards trying to accomplish these bigger goals. And I think that and is very different, uh, it feels like, uh, of late. And I think that goes back into this kind of confidence that, I, that I'm seeing. Uh, reading between the lines, and maybe somebody wrote it, so maybe it's not between the lines, but I mean, I think that was going to be his message after Ohio State, right? I think he wanted to be able to come into the room because he said, I was going to come in here and say something different. Then he came in Monday, yeah. news conference, I was going to say something different. I think he was going to come in, hoping to be able to come in and say, it's one no, we won a game, and we've now we've got bigger things in mind, right? Like, we, 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 we've gotten over that. So I think this is just the past two weeks have been able to kind of clear some things up, clear some things out. You still haven't, you don't, didn't have that win to go back to, but I think you can look at the other stuff because the other stuff makes sense. You're, you're going to make the playoffs unless something goes crazy and you can start talking about the other and there. There's well, and so there going back to that point and what he was going to say after Ohio state, Porman wrote it uh, last week and, and some other people have kind of like picked up on it too. Is like this, like, reframing of of the relationship between kind of church and state between old main and the bjc and the the lash building and kind of like how everybody's aligned um more now and i thought hearing that come through has been very fascinating not so much in the sense of we know that james franklin and pat craft are tight it's more so how bad was it when like Eric Barron and, and Sandy Barber were around and like, what was their relationship like? Cause it doesn't sound good. No, and, the more you talk about this being good, the, the other stuff had to be bad. Yeah. Right? Like, At least not, not super good. Right. And I think that's what's, that's what's most striking and interesting about that, that entire thing. It's not that like, there's been this kind of idea and I've, I've seen it written a couple of times. I think Nate Bauer had something and I don't disagree with it, but it's almost like this is James Franklin 2.0 in the sense that it's, like a fresh start for James Franklin with, with Pat Kraft. And I don't disagree with that per se, because but I feel still think you have to look at his entire body of work. But I understand the logic behind that argument because of these like what they're not like you said, what they what James Franklin is not saying in this situation as opposed to what he is saying uh now. Well and he said some of it when Sandy was here. I mean there was a little bit of disagreement and it I mean it what it ended up going James's way about scheduling, right? right. Sandy was like going to play one good game a year, non-conference at home or maybe somewhere. And James like, yeah, no, thank you. Just give me three, give me three tomato cans to like beat up and, and we'll go on. And, and that's what we have going forward. So I, th I think that was a win for him in that situation. And I think that was part of the alignment of, of perspective of what do you need to do to make a program successful? And in that one instance, I think there was that yeah. example. And I, I think there's probably more of, of places where they just might not have agreed about how this goes. And, and yeah. now I think everybody agrees how this goes. Well, and I think that goes back to Pat Kraft's day one message of everything runs through the football department in terms of success for this, the success for the university, whether you believe in the Flutie effect or not, like, uh, and I do, like, it, it runs through the university, it runs through, or I'm sorry, it runs through the football team. What the football team does is going to translate to every single part, not just the athletic department, but the entire campus uh, throughout. I agree, I agree.